Well, welcome back. It is time for another TGI Texas. Yeah, and Greg is joining us. And Greg, I understand um, <clears throat> you got this idea from your own pastor. Yeah, in, in light of the uh, recent tragedies that we've seen here involved with the uh, police involved uh, shootings, uh, my pastor really touched on this in one of his sermons talking about how we live in a broken world, mm -hmm. but we do serve a God who is always faithful to his promises and helps us in these situations. And so I sat down with two other pastors who are kind of lighting the way as we uh, wrestle with these uh, recent police shootings. Here's today's TGI Texas. Turmoil. But at some point, she fired her weapon, striking the victim. Tragedy. We, the jury, unanimously find the defendant guilty of murder as charged. And the tearful triumph. God. Yes, ma'am. The deaths of two innocent young men at the hands of police officers. 15 year old Jordan Edwards. And Jordan had a man, the smile just, it was magnetic. And 26 year old Botham Jean. How could you allow this to happen to someone who had so much potential? Pastor Freddie Haynes has been by the side of the Jean family. The community is, is, is hurting. Uh, so as leader of this congregation, what, what do you tell people when we have to wrestle with the anger, the frustration and all those emotions? Right, I think you use the word hurting uh, because again, this is another time where we experience grief and sorrow. And this time it's senseless because None of the stories we're hearing make any sense. So the healing, how, how do we begin to do that? And how do we, you know, make changes? Our faith says that God has the last word. And so to provide an atmosphere of counseling and healing, and then vehicles where people can channel that energy into something that is positive and good. So some are wired for protest marches, others are wired to engage in creating prayer groups for healing. We're gonna pray for the family of Botham John. We're gonna pray for the family of the officers uh, in Fort Worth, Officer Hull, because killing anywhere is a threat to healing everywhere. Jordan Edwards' family is still trying to heal. Just days before John's death, a jury convicted Vault Springs officer for murdering Edwards. Pastor Martin Lee Dorsey testified during the sentencing. How are they dealing with this now? Everything that they're doing now is less one. Jordan is not there. But because of the verdict, uh, the sentencing, it kind of gives them some satisfaction that uh, their son's life, you know, it's just not, it's not been lost. And how is the, the church, the faith community responding? It's upsetting, uh, it's frustrating. But what I try to do is I try to let the church know is that even in the midst of our frustrations and even in the midst of the things that seem like it keep reoccurring and all of that, we have still trust God. Now is the time to let your light shine because if our light only shines when things are well, if our light only shines when things are going our way, then you know what kind of light is that? So we really hope this is a way to maybe bring the community to get together as, as we try to heal. Because a lot of folks, you talk to a lot of folks, and this is kind of a defining moment for the community with everything that's been it going really on. Is. So it's been tough. And something I've wrestled with personally as well, trying sure. to, wanting to do something. So it's like, what can I do uh, in this situation? I really like what he said. Killing anywhere mm -hmm. is, what did he say? A it, hindrance to healing, healing everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, and these protests, when we look at them, right, it's really a way for people to come together, mm -hmm. to share, mm -hmm in a common hurt and to hopefully heal. And as both of John's own family talked about, and as we know, Martin Luther King talked about and set the standard for, these are civil protests, not to be pushed back on the protesters to create any violence, but and, and, and to let to them people, have their time. Yeah, and to vent that frustration. And, and as Pastor Haynes talked about, there are different ways to do that as well. Yeah. We see the protests, but there are a lot of prayer groups and everything else yeah. that, that's going in counseling that's going on as well. We well, hope for answers, but sometimes they're hard do. to find. Thank you, Greg, for shedding some light on it.